Microsoft is forcing Windows 11 installs on Windows 10 machines that are eligible. Some people want to stay on Windows 10, so I'm making a quick video on explaining how to try to avoid that and how to try to keep your system on Windows 10. And if your system just newly upgraded to Windows 11, there is a way to roll back. This video will explain how to do that, what patch is actually going in that's causing Windows 11 to automatically install from Windows 10. So Microsoft is pushing it not to just regular users, they're pushing it to any user that basically has installed the Windows patch KB5020683. That is KB5020683, which shows a screen explaining the benefits of proceeding to upgrade to Windows 11. Some people have gotten this patch and it has installed Windows 11 automatically on systems that meet the requirements for Windows 11. To avoid this patch or not have it load, you want to make sure that your TPM module is turned off. If you have your TPM module turned off, your system will not upgrade. There is no way because it will not meet the minimum requirements for Windows 11. You can turn this off in the BIOS. This is part of the processor most likely if you have a newer computer. If you have an older computer, then you'll probably don't even have a TPM and you don't have to worry about this. But what you're looking for, if you have an Intel system, you're looking for the Intel Trusted Technology or IPTT or TPM. It does say TPM in Intel's boards. For AMD, you're looking for F. TPM. That is all in the BIOS. So to get into your BIOS, there's a few different keys. When your computer first starts up, usually it tells you which key to push. Most of the time it's the delete key. If it's a regular standard system, if it's like Dell or something, it might be F12 or F11 or F10. So just quickly look at the screen during that time. If you're still unsure, you could just push F10, F11, F12, and keep pushing delete and tapping the keys, you know, on off, on off, to tell it that, you know, you wanna get into the BIOS. If you still can't get into the BIOS, there's another way, if you're in Windows, you can hold down the left shift key and then click on start and then click on reboot and it will reboot going into the UEFI BIOS and it'll ask you if you want to enter the BIOS. So you just click on the screen you want to go into and then it'll let you go into UEFI BIOS. Once you're in there, you want to want to make those changes. You want to be looking for TPM or FTPM and you want to disable it. Once it's disabled, then you should not be able to upgrade to Windows 11 and it'll keep you on Windows 10. If your systems already run Windows 11 installation and you're still within the 10 days before it doesn't allow you to go back, you can actually go to settings and then go to system, then click on recovery and then click on go back if the option is available. Now, if that option is not available, then you have already passed the 10 days and you will have to reformat, unfortunately. If you do have to reformat back up your computer, reformat back to Windows 10. But before you load Windows 10 back on, be sure to disable your TPM module. And by the way, when I say TPM module, older computers would be TPM module. If you have a newer computer, it's part of the processor. So you're just turning off the TPM portion of it. That will definitely allow you to stay on Windows 10 because Windows 11 requires TPM. Or if you want, you could also turn off secure boot but secure boot also has some benefits for windows 10 so i'd probably recommend leaving that on well that's about it for this one uh if you guys have any questions uh please leave them in the comments below if you guys need help getting back to windows 10 you can always leave a comment below and we could try to help you as much as we can or you can watch one of our other videos on how to reload to windows 10 we also have a bunch of different system builds that also go over installation of windows 10 so you can always watch that and uh, it's the same procedure and process so yeah we'll see you in the next one and uh, have a great day